this is the time I thought I was going to die smoking weed. So I started smoking weed probably like like 14. Sorry, Pam. Uh, so I started smoking re weed around that time. Now, I was a little afraid at first. Like my entry into smoking was kind of weird because my school was kind of mixed. So it was like white, uh, like Mexican and black. That was pretty much it. So I guess it wasn't really mixed. It was so just California. So basically it was a school full of Gomez. Yeah, school full of Gomez's and Mike Mendez's. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, it was a lot going on. So at this school, a lot of the white boys were smoking and, and the black dudes were smoking Black and Miles and Newports because that's just what what people were smoking. So like my entry to smoking was like Black and Miles, right? So, which is cigars. And it's not the best thing to smoke, but I just thought it was cool because I was stupid and following everybody else. I was like, oh, this makes sense. Like, this is what the cool kids do. You're still stupid. Sometimes. And uh, then uh, one day, uh, somebody gave me a cigarette, and I was like, well, let me try because everybody want to, like, try this cigarette stuff. I remember I went to my backyard. I guess I was home by myself. I went to my backyard, man, and my dog was looking at me like, what this nigga doing? He's smoking a cigarette? And I was like, yeah. And so I took the cigarette, lit it. As soon as I lit it, I coughed and I stumped on it. I said, I'll never do that again. So that was my only intro in the cigarette. So then one day my dog B, he was like, uh, yo, have you ever smoked weed? And I was like, oh, no, nah, no, nah. you know, I'm kind of nervous. You know, I was afraid of my mama, to be honest. So I was like, oh, you know, she be smelling stuff. You know, moms, they got noses like basset hounds. They just, they smell everything, literally. Even if you wash it, they like, what is this? So I was like, um, yeah, no, nah, you know, I'm afraid. And he was like, man, stop being a bitch. I was like, all right, well, when you when you trying to do this then? Because you can't just, I can't just punk out. So he was like, this weekend, I'm going to uh, pull up on you. I'm going to smoke. It's your first time? I was like, yeah, it's my first time. I was like, all right, cool, bet. So he pulls up on me, and, uh, you know, he rolls me a little, little something. And so I start smoking. And so immediately, like, my world is opened up and we, we going to the mall, he driving and we going to the mall and I'm like, damn, the world look different, man. Like, I'm so happy right now, man. Like, well, this, this is a good place to be, man. The North Carolina trees is looking different. We get to the mall, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, I'm out here, like, just, just feeling good, floating, right? I'm going through the mall, shit is kind of like, not wavy, but it's just like, it's chill. And I'm like, everybody talking to me, I'm giggling and shit. <laughs> like when a grown man giggle, that's when he hot. Like <laughs> I wasn't laughing, I was giggling. <laughs> and that's two different things. And I was key keying, and so we we had a good little time. So we started doing this every weekend. So I was like, oh bet man, I'm a I'm a weed smoker now. That's the first part of the story. Fast forward about a year. I'm now 15, 16. Oh, I've been so smoking. you a veteran now. I'm a, yeah, you so a I'm, big chief. I'm like, yo, I, I'm, I, ride, I, know, I ride, you know what I'm saying? Still don't know how to roll up. But I, I was like, but I'm riding. You I'm, executive producer I'm, on the chronic I now. I was executive <laughs> producer. I was killing it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And so I was like, all right, cool. We in here. Like my, I've got my, my reins in the weed game. So cool. Mind you, this is North Carolina weed. It ain't hitting on nothing. Mm. It ain't hitting on nothing. So about a year later, I'm at work. And this dude is like, yo, I'm going to be smoking in my crib after work if you want to come through. And I was like, oh, bet, yeah. He was like, now, how long you been smoking? And I was like, oh, about a year. Like, you know, cool. He was like, okay, cool. He was like, so I got my cousin got, brought me some stuff back from California. So I was like, oh, okay, I heard that's the good way. He was like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be. He was like, but how long you been smoking? I was like, a year. He was like, all right. So go to his house. He got some snacks and shit, so I'm like, oh, I'm, this is a regular day. I've been smoking. I'm here. I do, I do this. Big Chief. I'm big, big Chief. You know, they called me Big Chief Green back then, you know? They didn't they ain't call me that. Uh, <laughs> so I sit down. Now, the weed, the nugget he pulled out was like a, it was sparkly. <laughs> it was purple. And it, it was pungent. That right there should have told, and it was from California. So that should have told me like, hey, this ain't for the young ones, all right? So uh, he rolls up 
I'm like, mind you, we smoking like blunts. He rolls up, and so cool. We start smoking. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm, and he like, he like, and he was teaching me. He was like, what type of what type of puffs you taking? I was like, I'm taking, I'm taking nigga puffs. What you mean? I'm taking regular puffs. He's like, nah, talk, nah, talk nah. big chief like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, come on, don't talk big chief like that. You know, I'm, I'm big, <laughs> big chief. So he was like, nah, nah, like pull that thing, hold it, let it get in there, and then release. And I'm like, man, shit, I ain't doing nothing, big chief. <laughs> Coughing. Then I got myself together. Oh, cool. Now, now I was like, oh, now we smoking. Boom. Cool. We we face the whole bunt. Boom. This one shit gets scary. So I'm sitting on the couch. Um, I'm looking around, and all of a sudden, like I was like, damn, I gotta pee. But my body didn't move. Like my mind moved, but my body didn't. And I was like. I was like, okay, let me try this again. I got to pee. And I was like, I looked at him. I said, I said, can you move? He said, nigga, what you talking about? Yeah, I can move. <laughs> I was like, I can't move. He was like, relax, you just high. I was like, nah, man, I've been high before. This this ain't hot. So now my paranoia, <laughs> my paranoia is starting to kick in. They got to keep you calm. So, so he like, yo, chill out. He was a little bit older. He was like, yo, my nigga, chill out. I was like, okay, 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 okay. So then I start like, I start like looking around. I just feel like everything is slow motion. I'm like, I'm like, nah, man, nah, man. I, I was like, big chief, don't do this. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, you sure? He's like, bro. You gotta relax. He was like, just eat some. I was like, can you hand me the bag? He was like, what you mean? I was like, I can't, I can't, feel, I can't feel my legs, man. He looked up at me. He said, he, I can't feel my legs. I said, Bubba, they ain't there. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he was like, bro. And while he's talking. It sounds like he's in a studio. Everything is in reverb, and so he loud, and it's scaring me a little bit. I was like, "Well, why are you yelling at me?" He's like, "Bro, I'm not yelling. You are high. It's Calm like, down." It's like Samuel and, and boys in the <laughs> Minister Society when he's saying KD. <laughs> he was like, "You are high." I was like, "All right, all right." All right. So then I finally was able to move my arm a little bit, got a chip. I was like, okay, cool, cool. He's like, drink some water or something. I drank a little bit of water. I was like, I want to get up, man. I'm stuck. I'm in the couch, bro. I can't get up. He's like, just relax, just relax. So then I'm cool until my heart start racing. So my heart. I said, hey man, hey hey man, is your heart supposed to feel like this? <laughs> he was like, bro, just shut up, dude. I was like, nah, man. I think I'm gonna die, man. Call the hospital. He was like, I'm not calling the hospital. I got all this weed in here. I'm not calling 911. I was like, you gonna let me die like this? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you gonna, let me, you gonna let me die like this? He said, bro, you not gonna die. So then, I don't know if the weed just gets stronger because I'm panicking, but bro, I kid you not. It was like I seen myself sitting on the couch. I was like, oh no, oh no. So I started crying. He said, bro, he said, my nigga, are you crying right now? I said, man, I, ain't, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I don't want to die right now. I, I can't die right now. He said, he said, man, you, I'm going to kick your ass off. You don't shut it because the, the neighbors is going to think something going on. I was like, man, I should knew I shouldn't have smoked, man. I knew I shouldn't have smoked. I, 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 don't, I don't even, I don't even like this, man. They take me home. <laughs> I wanted my mommy, nigga. <laughs> Take me home. He was like, bro, you have got, he's like, just lay down, bro, just lay down. I was like, all right, I'm lay. So then I laid down. And laying down is probably the best thing you can do when you start having a, a panic attack. Because I, I was having a panic attack. So I laid down. The room was kind of spinning. And I was like, okay, just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. And he was, he, I just remember him looking at me like, I'm never hanging out with this nigga again. <laughs> so I'm never hanging out. And so, I finally calmed down, finally got, I went to sleep, went to sleep, I woke up, I was still high. I said, oh my God, <laughs> I said, this is, I can't take this no more, man. I said, just, just, can you take me home, please? He's like, bro, all right, I'm gonna take you home, I'm gonna take you home. 
So he takes me home. He just dropped me. This nigga dropped me off at the bottom of the driveway. He wouldn't even come pulling in. He's like, get out, man. This is a good go. I walk up the driveway. Now I'm like, oh God. I said, I, I hope my mama ain't up. Walk in the door, she in the living room. And she was like, she was like, you all right? I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired and, you know, and you know, she, that's when parents want to talk to you. And so I don't want to talk right now, man. I'm trying to go to my room. So I went to my room, laid down. And I'm pretty sure she knew I was, uh, she probably knew I was high. She, well, she, I'm sure she smelt it because I didn't change shirts or nothing. It had been some hours, but I'm sure she smelt it. But I survived and I'm here and um, I lived to tell a, a, another tale, but I, I thought I was going to die. My heart was racing. Smoking ain't just not necessarily for me. At that time, I st then I stopped for like six years until I got to Cali. I tried it again, then I stopped again. I would do it here and there, but it's you know it's just one of those things. It's not I get too paranoid. So, two questions, one statement. Okay. First question: Did he ever smoke with you again? No, I never. I never hung out with him again. Mm. Second it, question: Yeah. Do you smoke now? No, I wouldn't say I smoke now. I would say, like, say say DJ Slice came into town and he wanted to, I possibly would take a puff or so. Like, you know, maybe, but I, I'm not I'm not a smoker. I would say that. I'm not. I'm not a smoker. Statement. Yes. Why are you dressed like John Morant daddy right now? <laughs> <laughs> you dressed like T. Morant. <laughs> like, you court flying at the game. On, you, on, you on my Memphis shit, you know. You got, know. My, got my got my kangaroo, my kangaroo you, you know. Yo, Morant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's <All right>. funny. <laughs> What comes in the box once you get it? All your retainers. I got 15 of them, so it's gonna take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted. But what's cool about Bite, they work with me, so they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, Got some accessories I got that you put your retainers in, carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant and you're on a date. Put it in there and I got some whitening foam to use, whiten my teeth. Also, you got the Hyper Bite, which is really cool, which um, cuts your time in half. If you use it every day, I think it's just for five minutes a day, it'll cut your treatment time in half. There, it's the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology that only Bite has, which is really cool, which separates them from all the other competitions. So I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day. I'm gonna open this one. See what it looks like. Boom, so I still get the bottom with it, but it's probably just gonna keep it in place where it's at, which is cool. But this is the, my first, my first trade for the first week of straightening my top teeth. So, comes with instructions. The weight comes with a little sticker that says, "The weight is over. It's time to bite." I know you can't see it. Just focus. I don't know. This is cool. Let me, let me pop it in, and it fits. And it's comfortable too. But I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. So let me put this in a tray. So if y'all wanna start on this journey, just use my code, Bite DT. This is the story of my sickest plane ride. 